Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing two different games. Both of them involve some form of management, the first of which is Keep It Alive, a game by the creator of Pony Island, where you must keep a heart alive, while also operating a train. You didn't forget, did you now, old timer? This is the most important haul in your whole long ass life. Oh, for the love of. Tie your damn shoes, man. Sorry! Oh no, this is manual shoe tying. Unbelievable. Anyways. There's the heart. You gotta keep that beating heart alive. All the way from Vancouver to Tijuana. But that ain't it. I know you're used to running slow. But they ain't gonna fly. You run too slow and those rail workers are gonna latch right onto you. They all know your freight ain't worth shit to them. Save for the clothes off your back and a bit of protein. And you probably know this too, but it'll run too fast, neither. Run too fast and you'll waste coal. You run out? Well, I didn't mention the rail workers. Your first stop is Seattle. Once you get not far out, a Vancouver cell tower reception is gonna get bad. And it might cut out. Oh, we just cut out. Gun. Part. Get a little bit more coal in there. Keep it around that speed. My shoelace is... Put a little more in. Maybe around the 75 mark. I said don't run it too fast. But there must be a reason to run it fast sometimes. Maybe like the the rail workers, as they call them. Uh, to avoid them. So I'm just here chilling. Get some hearts and pumps. My shoelaces. I was going to leave that untied. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Hey, people with guns. Friends? You, you have no idea how lucky you are to be transporting cargo like that. Oh, you'll be rewarded for this, all right. Long haul to the Reading. Coming up, huh? Steep inclines. We have some extra coal for you. Yes, 46 coal. Oh lord. What an honor. Pick up the speed. Pump the heart. Man, we're burning for the coal real fast this place. Oh! Uh, oh! Oops. Put some... Get that heart going. Have my shoelaces. Keep the heart pumping. Have my shoelaces. Oh no. Read that incline. The speed up a little. Wait. Right there. Good. Heart. Keep beating on me. We're good. I haven't seen any rail workers, as they call them. Oh god. Incline. Ooh. Keep the goal. Coal moving. Heart. Uh. Rail workers. Nope. Nope. Well, we're kind of going fast on our own now. Get your dang hooks off my place. Looks like since we're going so fast, they can't climb in. Got two bullets left.
Oof. Yeah, anyone want to do anything with that guy with the hook on the side? You know, you want to... You want to you wanna blow him away for me, would you? Welcome to Redden. Population, not a heck of a lot. This wasn't with cargo like that. You wouldn't be staying long. We got a payment from HQ. So we have your coal. Thanks. Next intact station I reckon is... Pasadena. You spin up that coal. No guarantees they'll have any. Well, the choppers buzzing around. Choppers round down there. Stay safe, partner. Just hang on the heart. Just keep it fast. Don't go into the red too often. They did restore our ammo, thankfully. Uh. Oh, what the? Hey, nobody. Nobody. Ow. Oh, my shoes. Heart, 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 heart. Hold it in. Go, go, go. Shoes. Where's our choppers? Okay, we're coasting in. Ooh. Keep it pumped just to be safe. Pasadena. Wow, this place sucks. And who do you think you are? Cole? Are you kidding me? You got in that train. Hell away, geezer. Just want to take a look. I said... Gallop! Take these bullets. And run. Thanks for the bullets, at least. Heart has a hole in it, but it's still good. Don't. Get the shoelaces tied. Heart, heart, hit, hold in there, hold in there, please. Keep that. Moving fast so we don't get any of the rail workers. Shoelace. Do that. Oh no. Are you some kind of weird rival terrain? Yes, you are. Off my train! You too. Flat. I got one bullet left. No. Lace. I think we made it. Right, this way. Hurry. You have the cargo, right? But I just, I just pick up the shovel on the, with the heart, but you give it here. Um. Oh, Lord. I think this will work. She will take some time to recover. But her soul is strong. She will endure. We will endure. Thank you for playing. That's a symbolic ending, isn't it? Is it symbolic for the, you know, the, the body? Like, you know, the body trying to keep itself alive? Or is it symbolic for, like, hope? The heart is hope. Keep hope alive. Or is it just, like, Daniel Mullins is like, um, heart bandits 
Pony King. I don't know, uh, but I kind of felt like there was something there. I think that was a pretty cool um, arcadey kind of game jam thing, though. Uh, what's his name? The uh, like I said, Daniel Mullins of Creator Pony Island has always been fairly creative and diverse in their games. Uh, they have that card game I've played before, but the demo is coming out pretty soon. But this little arcade game did not disappoint. Anyway, on to the next game. The second game we'll be playing is Don't Let the Darkness In. Which is a horror game where you must really not let the darkness in. These great machines feel the light. Power them when their light turns green. Don't let the light fade away. God, this is really stylish. Don't let the darkness in. Don't worry, I won't. Mash space bar. Hold E. Enter the numbers on your keyboard in order. Okay. Sweet. This one here. We need this darkness in. Oh man. Why? Why am I doing this? What do I get out of this aside from survival? <laughs> We should, like, find better ways to keep the darkness at bay. Like, watching anime. No, that just makes it worse. Hold E, hold E. Mash space bar. Hold E. Mass spacebar again. Now hold E. Angle my first approach was a little off. Please stop burning my keyboard. The numbers. And then key smashing the keyboard again. Hold E. How long did I have to do this for? Long enough, apparently. Oh, man. No, 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 no darkness. You survive long, but no one can outlive the darkness. I think that's kind of what I said. I accidentally clicked through it because I was matching space. So, I guess that's it for Don't Let the Darkness In, which is a very simple game. It, it's very simple. It's part of a two-minute horror game jam. So, the game's only supposed to last about two minutes, I think. Uh, very stylish for how simple it is. This developer has made some other games. This is, I think, one of their earliest. Uh, their other ones also are kind of stylish mini games, but they do have a more full-fledged looking game that's kind of in the works called The Lunar Effect. So, check that out if you want to see their work in a more detailed sense. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play these two different games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.